trapped under a magic spell. To break the spell, move the feather to release him from the spell. Sit still, and I'll try and break the spell by waving the feather. You're free! The spell is broken! The Jade Jaguar was human once more. Sophia told him she understood that he wanted to break the spell, but it was never all right to steal things. He thanked Sophia for her help and promised not to steal again. The feather was returned to the royal sorcerer and all was well in Wailing. Bravo! You've collected a lot of gems. Tap this spot to hear a special story. The tale of Sophia's great aunt venture. One special day, Sophia's new aunt came for a visit to Enchantia. Sophia really wanted to go to the annual carnival, but Aunt Tilly wanted to bake her famous apple pie, and she needed a helper. So, Sophia volunteered to help Aunt Tilly, even though that meant she would miss the carnival. Soon, Sophia and Aunt Tilly set off on a great adventure to gather special Arabella apples for the pie. Along the way, Sophia met a giant, soared up to the horrid hills on a kite, and crawled into a cave to get the Arabella apples back from the Wombeast. Aunt Tilly was right. The world is full of wonders, just waiting to be seen. Sophia missed the carnival, but she had an amazing adventure that was even better. And she got to make a delicious Arabella apple pie with her new favorite aunt. Thanks for coming back to the secret library with me, Clover. You bet! Besides, it's one of my favorite nap spots. You go finish some more stories. I'll just, uh, wait here. The tale of the Centennial Fig Festival. Ready to begin? Tap here. Once every hundred years, the very rare Centennial Fig of Tangu blooms. This happy event is celebrated with a once-in-a-lifetime Centennial Fig Festival. But on this particular occasion, a troublesome mischief maker was causing chaos in the Tangu marketplace, and the genie patrol had vanished. If order wasn't restored, the festival would have to be cancelled. No, I can't let the festival be cancelled. I have to get to Tangu. Who could be causing all the trouble? Only one way to find out. Tap right to move right. Tap left to move left. When you see a gem, be sure to pick it up. I've got to catch that troublemaker.
Mischief Maker could be hiding anywhere. Coming through! Oh, we made it to the Marketplace Square. Now let's see if we can find Sergeant Fizz. You're doing very well. Sergeant Fizz revealed that the mischievous wizard Wendell was forcing Kazim, a young genie, to grant his troublemaking wishes. There wasn't a moment to lose. Sophia flew off to find Wendell and free Kazim. And find him she did, but Wendell fired sparks from his magic wand at her. Sophia had no choice but to turn and fly away. Tap right to move right. Tap left to move left. As you play, collect as many gems as you can.
it. Steer left and right to make Wendell miss. <sighs> that one whizzed right by. Whist right by. Ha! Huh, he missed. <sighs> that one whizzed right by. Ha! Huh, he missed. <sighs> that one whizzed right by. Wendell, I challenge you to a magic wand off. All right, Wendell, get ready. If I win, you have to release Kazim and stop making trouble. Block Wendell's You're not magic spells. The only one who can do magic, Wendell. Oh no, you don't! Ah. To stop Wendell's magic, tap on the magical orbs. Stop Wendell's magic, tap on the magical orbs. Got it! Not so oh, fast! No, you don't! I won, Wendell. I blocked all your magic. Sophia had won the day. She soon learned that Wendell was upset at not being invited to the Fig Festival, and that's why he'd made so much mischief. But Sophia explained that festivals were open to everyone. No invitation was needed. Wendell set Kazim free and apologized for the trouble he'd caused. All was quickly forgiven, and Wendell was made an honorary member of the Genie Patrol. The Centennial Fig Festival was saved. Bravo! You've collected a lot of gems. Congratulations! You've unlocked a special story. The Tale of the Wild Carpet Once upon a time, Princess Sophia and her friends flew to Tangu. They were there to visit Prince Xandar. However, Sophia and Amber had an unexpected high-flying adventure. All the guests hopped on flying carpets to attend a royal party. But Sophia and Amber's carpet was wild. It took them on a zany ride over a desert oasis, through a field of date trees, and past a flock of wild flying horses. They finally ended up at the marketplace, but the carpet flew away from them and hid. After a crazy chase, the girls caught the carpet and hopped back on to get to the party. However, the impish little carpet had other ideas and crash-landed in the hanging gardens of Tangu. With a little help from a friend, Sophia and Amber tamed their wild carpet. Finally, they made it to Tangu Palace in one piece. Although they had missed the party, their adventure on the little wild carpet was the most exciting ride of their lives. Would you like to replay an adventure? You'll be able to collect more rewards.
the tale of Wild Wing Valley. When you're ready, tap here to start. 